Okay, down. Hey guys, welcome back to Boost Hunter Garage. Today we're just going to talk a little bit about death wobble, the sloppy steering of these Dodge trucks, especially the heavy duty uh, diesel trucks. Uh, they're known for it. I've never personally experienced death wobble, but this truck was my father-in-law's before and he did experience it with that. So he had done some of these upgrades. I'll point those out. Uh, but I obviously deal with it having the sloppy steering, it kind of wandering around. Uh, if you watch one of my previous videos, I have added the little bushings in the steering for the kind of worn out steering uh, to fix that. But I will show you a couple tests that you can do to try to figure out what is causing maybe your death wobble and sloppy steering. And most of the time with this kind of stuff, it's not necessarily just one thing, it's multiple uh, things causing it. Okay guys, obviously we're underneath the front of the truck here. So it's kind of a bad angle, but just want to go over a few things and then we'll show you how to kind of test this. So obviously here, you got your steering linkage that goes here. And what's going to cause lots of this is going to be obviously the joints that are in your steering linkage. And then back here, you got your track bar, which goes up. And obviously that's what keeps your front axle centered and from moving around. Uh, the stock ones kind of got these big bushings. They're a little softer, obviously with higher mileage too. Those are going to wear out. And all this usually adds up to, you know, each one has to only move a small amount for you to get that sloppiness in your steering, uh, get the actual death wobble. Uh, so some upgrades like this one already, this truck's an 07. So it would have uh, the steering linkage that they would consider Y steering. Uh, and now this has been upgraded to the T-style steering, which I believe is 08 and up they came with. Essentially how you can kind of tell is where this bar links. It links up on the top, whereas I believe on the Y style, it's kind of off to the side down here. So it's a partially, it's a geometry thing that causes the bad steering. I think it was also weaker, so there was some flex in the steering uh, that caused that. Uh, so these are obviously good upgrades that can help eliminate this stuff. And this is what we're gonna be testing to see if you got slop there. Uh, the one thing, this is the Mopar replacement one. And I know there's a couple of brands, but I know like say, for example, the Synergy one, the nice thing with theirs, and I believe it's a little bit more money, is each of these joints you can actually buy replacements for, whereas this one only you can replace two of them. And I believe when I did this test before, the two that are kind of sloppy on mine are the ones that you can't replace. Uh, combined with you know some other things you could have is up at your steering boxes where you can get some play. And this is a, one of the more cheap upgrades you can do here is this support bracket they add, which adds this bearing to the bottom here, which stops the, your steering box will actually kind of shift around. Uh, so that's something you can you know, change and will help with that kind of stuff. Uh, but those are kind of some of the main ones. Obviously your ball joints uh, could cause some of that problem too. So there we'll, we'll have a little test for that to show that kind of stuff. So I'll show you how you're gonna test this. All right, so the first test here, you're gonna take the truck, I had mine on ramps, but I put it back on the ground, full weight on your front tires, and you're gonna need someone to help you do this. Uh, obviously you're gonna have to fire the truck up for this, but what you're gonna get someone to do is essentially just rock the steering back and forth, you know, whatever, nine to two, pretty drastically back and forth. And then you're gonna look under the front of the truck and with the weight of the tires sitting on the ground, you're gonna see the movement in the joints. So we're gonna do this here, all video under there. Uh, probably won't be able to hear, but we'll talk about it after just because of the truck running. Okay, so that in that clip, hopefully you guys can see, it's a little tough to film to show what was going on. Uh, so on this truck specifically, 
I don't think the steering linkage is super bad. Uh, there was There's a bit of play, but not too bad. But where you can really see it, and I think you can see it in the video, is the track bar. Uh, you can see how sloppy that bushing is, and as you're turning the steering, you could see it floating back and forth. So that's probably where I personally, on this truck, get a lot of that wander. Uh, but just a way to show you how to test that. Uh, I'm not a professional mechanic, so I'm not gonna tell you how much play, but you kinda gotta use your discretion. You know, it's probably not all four of those joints stay on your steering link that you're gonna go at once, so you're gonna be able to tell when one's really sloppy compared to the other, or maybe two of them are. Uh, so just kinda use your discretion on that, but it's just, it's just a way of how to test it and kinda get an idea of what's going on. So you can do that, check all your steering linkage, the track bar, your steering box, even you could have a look at your steering shaft coming down, see if those joints, because it's going to put stress on that, and you're going to see some of that uh, deflection there. So just some of the things you can test out on there, uh, give you an idea of where to start with your upgrades or what you need before you go spend a bunch of money. You know, these parts aren't cheap, so it gives you a good idea. Next, we will just do a little test, and I'll show you how to test your ball joints uh, just to see how much play you have there, because that can give you, you know, a bit of deflection. And all these things, if you have bigger tires, like this truck's got 35s on it, you know, bigger than stock, those kind of things are gonna all add up to this. If you got badly worn tires, that can also add to death wobble and the bad steering. So these are all things you kind of got to take into account, but we'll test these ball joints and see how they are on this truck, at least give you an idea how to test yours. Okay, now to test your ball joints, you're gonna take your floor jack, lift up one side, essentially just want like maybe an inch, just enough to get the pry bar under there. So I took this pry bar, this didn't really have a good enough bend in it, so I kind of had to rig it up like this, but you're just gonna, enough that you can pop the tire up and down, uh, the wheel up and down, so that you can look at your ball joints. As you're doing that, you're just gonna have a look at your top and bottom ball joint. Uh, they do need to have, I think stock, they have a little bit up and down play, uh, but like I said before, I'm not a professional mechanic. I'm not going to give you the exact amount. Kind of got to use your discretion to see. But if, like those, they're not looking too bad. There's not a ton of play there. So, but if yours has a ton of slop in it, that's somewhere, you know, you can start with. So it's just a way to give yourself an idea of what's going on. There you guys have it. There's a couple ways to test. Try and narrow down what uh, is causing your death wobble, the sloppy steering of your Dodge truck. One other thing I want to throw in there, uh, a while ago I had replaced my control arms with the Carly aftermarket uh, control arms. And that was another thing, like this truck has 320,000 miles on it, control arms were original to it. And after I changed those, even that you could tell the truck wandered less. My wife was actually driving the truck lots and she pointed out that she noticed that. So that's why I say death wobble, the sloppy steering isn't necessarily just one thing. It's usually multiple things adding up to it. So hopefully after watching this, you have an idea of what is going on with your truck. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll try to help you as best I can. Uh, please like and subscribe and come back for the future because like you've seen there, that track bar on this truck wasn't doing good, so there's a good chance that's getting upgraded. Thanks a lot for watching.